This is Plant-Based Briefing, When Your Partner Isn't On Board With A Plant-Based Diet, by Corey Warren at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and this is the Curated Content Plant-Based Podcast, where I narrate a variety of articles on plant-based and vegan living in about 10 minutes or less every weekday, with permission. Today's article is from ForksOverKnives.com. They were founded after the 2011, now world-famous documentary, Forks Over Knives, was released. I highly recommend this documentary. It's usually one of the first ones that I recommend anybody watch if they're curious about a plant-based diet. You can find it at ForksOverKnives.com and watch it for free. They also have articles on the latest research, success stories, recipes, all kinds of tools to help people at every phase of their plant-based journeys. They've even got a meal planner and a recipe app and a line of food products and a great quarterly magazine as well. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. When Your Partner Isn't On Board With A Plant-Based Diet by Corey Warren at ForksOverKnives.com Perhaps you saw something. Maybe it was Forks Over Knives. Perhaps you read something. Maybe a book by one of the growing number of plant-based doctors or influencers piqued your interest. Either way, you feel ready to embrace a plant-based lifestyle. But you are not the only person in your house. You have a partner, a husband, wife, girlfriend, or boyfriend, and they are not on board. Despite your excitement and newfound knowledge of the benefits of a plant-based diet, you're met with a frown from your partner every time you bring up the subject. After a while, your feelings of disappointment turn to sadness, and your excitement feels dulled. You might even start to wonder if making the switch is worth the trouble. Fast forward a few more days or weeks, and your sadness turns to anger and resentment. You think and say things like, Why can't you just give it a try? Or... How could you keep eating that junk food when it's so easy to eat food that's healthy? While it's understandable for you to feel this way, it doesn't do much for your relationship. In the end, it could push your partner further away from a plant-based diet than they were to begin with. Rather than slipping into a house-divided mentality, which could create serious obstacles in your relationship, not to mention elevated cortisol levels from the constant daily stress, try these tips. Don't force it. Have you ever asked your partner to do something that's important to you, and for whatever reason, they never find the time? Your honey-do list always seems stuck at the bottom of their list, until you stop asking. As soon as you stop pestering your partner, your honey-do list is magically done. If you continue to pester a reluctant partner about trying a plant-based diet, they may never get on board. Perhaps mention it once and see how it goes. Then start making more plant-based foods in the house and don't talk about it. Let them ask you, and when they do, tell them you're trying some new ways to make meals and you're really excited about it. Remember, they love you. Let them see your excitement, and maybe, just maybe, they will think you're cute and give you a smooch. Smooches are always a good way to start a plant-based lifestyle. Have the conversation. How often do you look your partner in the eye and tell them how important something is to you? Life gets busy, and we often send a text to communicate. Sometimes we only send emojis, for goodness sake. This subject, however, requires a bit more attention and deserves some good old interpersonal communication. Go on a date with your partner away from any normal life distractions and hold their hand and talk to them about your thoughts. Look them in the eyes and explain to them that you love them and can't imagine doing this without their support. Maybe your conversation would sound like this. Honey, I've been doing a lot of research on plant-based diets lately after watching this movie, and I think I want to give it a try. I know it's hard to make such a huge shift, but we can at least give it a try together. I'm doing this because I want us both to feel great, be more active, and not feel so sluggish and worn down. I also want us to be around for a long time, and I feel this lifestyle changes the answer. Will you please come with me on this journey and give it a try for at least a few days? Your few days can turn into a week. The key to keeping them on board is to make the foods they know and love with a few minor adjustments. For that, we move on to the next tip. Prepare delicious meals. There are tons of whole food plant-based recipes out there that are as satisfying, if not more satisfying, than their standard American diet counterparts. In fact, whole food plant-based mashed potatoes are incredibly easy to make when you have the right basic ingredients. Baked apples are a delicious side item for any dinner. The right seasonings can go a long way to turn bland into grand with just a few shakes of the spice. Keep communicating. 
Ultimately, communication is the key when taking any new leap together as a couple. If you're able to respectfully communicate with your partner to create healthy dialogue along with healthy meals, then your relationship and your family will continue to win not only today, but every day for the rest of your life. You just listened to When Your Partner Isn't On Board With A Plant-Based Diet by Corey Warren at ForksOverKnives.com. And I'm Marian Erickson, and I was very fortunate because when I first discovered whole food plant-based diets and their benefits, it was after reading a book called The Whole Foods Diet, The Life-Saving Plan for Health and Longevity by John Mackey, the founder and former CEO of Whole Foods, and doctors Alona Polde and Matthew Lederman, who were the doctors in the documentary Forks Over Knives. Anyway, I read this book on vacation and was blown away, as I think we all are when we learn the truth about the health and nutrition of Whole Foods versus the standard American diet. Anyway, I do most of the cooking in our family, and my husband and I agreed that as soon as we got home from vacation, we were going Whole Foods plant-based. But I had to learn to cook, and luckily this book had a meal plan in the back, which got me started. So I realized I was very fortunate that my partner was on board with me in this situation. If you're interested in more tips, Brigitte Jem from Vegan Family Kitchen has a post as well that I read in episode 7. It's called Late Blooming Vegan with Family in Tow. Here are 10 tips to ease your transition. And it's a great one about getting your husband and children on board if they're not with you from the beginning. So I'll link that one in the show notes as well. And please share this with anyone who might benefit. And thank you for listening.